Hello, in this video I will show you how to return colors of an image using Channel Mixer in case white balance doesn't work. I have a camera JPEG loaded into the program. The camera set wrong white balance or maybe it was a photographer if white balance was set manually. As a result, we got such an image. A similar situation can arise when you shoot a video in Rec. 709 and you don't have the opportunity to get right colors after shooting without losing quality. To get started, let's look at how white balance adjustment works. White balance is nothing but RGB curves. And now I'm going to show it to you. I'll open the analyzer window in 3D LUT Creator and turn on 3D LUT Curves Analyzer here. That analyzer shows RGB curves as they will be written to the final LUT. By default, the analyzer shows curves for the color that appear when you move the mouse cursor over the image window. For convenience, I will switch it to display the curves only for neutral shades. So the picture looks too cold. I will make it warmer using temperature slider. The analyzer shows the curves that are applied to the image. The red channel curve went up. The blue channel curve went down. When I make the white balance colder, the curve of the blue channel rises. The red channel curve, on the contrary, drops. As you adjust tint slider, the red and blue channel curves will move synchronously, in the opposite direction from the green channel curve. I add color temperature to separate the red and blue channel curves. Let's adjust white balance. There are no neutral objects here, so I will do it by eye. I will add saturation. If the picture is almost gray like mine, it is more convenient to set the white balance with the increased saturation, so you can see the color change better. Here's what happened. I'll adjust the contrast and set blacks. Here's before, here is after. It has become definitely better, but the colors still do not reach the ideal. Why has it happened? Why doesn't white balance help, although there are no artificial light sources? The camera automatically adjusts the white balance. That is, it applies its own curves. You apply your white balance curves. They overlap, but you won't necessarily get the right color. Also, on the resulting curves of the LUT, it is seen that the white balance does not adjust white and black points. That is why in video editors, white balance is set with color rings, adjusting colors over the entire brightness range. You can automatically set the black and white points in the curves. But, as you see, this does not solve the problem. What should you do in such a case? I will switch to new version of edit. Now, I will use the channel mixer. You can increase the saturation and adjust the desired color by changing the ratio of the channels. You can increase the saturation of the image by pulling the points apart. The channel mixer in 3D LUT Creator is normalized. That is, the weight for each channel is always 100%. That is, neutral shades do not change. Therefore, nothing has changed on the output LUT curves. Colors that were neutral also remain neutral. If you hold shift and pull up or down on the point, you can set the weight of the channel to be more or less than 100%. The LUT curves will also change. I made the highlights warmer by changing the white point. Please note that you will not get pure white with this LUT. Now, I'm going to adjust the contrast and black point on AB tab. I will also add saturation. Skin color looks more natural now. Additionally, I will increase the saturation in the shadows. Here's what happened. Here is before. Here is after. Compare it with version 1. Here is the color that I got using white balance. Here is the color I got with the help of channel mixer. There is a huge difference. You can do the same with video. The channel mixer is a very powerful tool in the hands of a colorist. I hope this video will help you learn it. That's all for now.